Welcome back, welcome back, ODH TV. All right, this was gonna be a little different. While perusing Netflix to find something good to watch, I came across this nonsense. This nonsense that calls itself a reboot of the old TV show Good Times. If you've never heard of Good Times or you don't know much about it, I'll tell you what you need to know so you can understand where I'm going with this video. The original show was about a black family that lived in the projects trying to survive in the environment that they were in. It was a two-parent household. They had two sons and one daughter. The other lady is a nosy neighbor. The daughter, she was a good girl just going to school. The youngest son, he was like an activist. Then we had the buffoon son, of course. Gotta have one of those in there. The father was a hard-working man, went to work every day, kept the kids in check, and kept them out of danger. And the mother was the glue that kept the family together. She was the one she cooked the meals every day. She was there for advice. A good family. Even a nosy neighbor was cool. She wound up taking in an abused little girl. Now this show wasn't without its problems. It was executive produced by a white man named Norman Lear. The same Norman Lear that's one of the executive producers on this new Good Times animated show. He died last year at 101 years old. But there was constant conflict behind the scenes because the two actors that played the parents, Esther Roll and John Amos, were not happy with the way Norman Lear wanted them to play these characters. For example, one of the problems, he wanted Esther Roll's character, Florida, to be a single mother living in the projects. But she said she wouldn't do the show unless she had a husband. So they hired John Amos. John Amos is a serious actor and he was serious on the show. And he also had a lot of problems with the way they wanted him to portray these characters. Well, eventually Norman Lear was getting tired of not getting his way, so he wound up finally just killing off the, the father in the show. I'm giving you this background so you understand from my perspective and many others what's going on in this trailer. This is what Norman Lear wanted more of. His character played a straight buffoon. Even though he was an artist, he was a buffoon and did a whole lot of things that you just really just don't see black people doing. And this is why most of the cast on the show never really spoke to him any time off the set. They never really got along with him. And you can find interviews of him telling you exactly that. His name is Jimmy Walker. You can look him up. Now this trailer starts off with straight buffoonery. You know, and again, I really don't even like making videos like this, man. I like to just make a good video, make you guys laugh, make you guys enjoy yourself. But I came across this and I was so offended I had to make a video about it. And I don't get offended easily. And one more thing, if you like what's going on in these videos, you like this channel, please hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button, share this video, it really helps my channel, and stick around to the end, you might see something that you like. Alright, now back to this nonsense. Now they're calling this a reboot, but when I read the synopsis, it's supposed to be the fourth generation of Evans family in that same apartment in Chicago. Which is weird because in the original series, at the end on the final episode, they came across good fortune and everybody left the projects. So now we're back in the fourth generation. So they let you know where they're coming from as soon as this trailer starts letting you know that everybody's stupid. An example, it starts off where the son says to the sister, the state called and they want to give you a disability check for your face. And then the father says, wait, you can get paid for that? Then the daughter says something like, this is coming from somebody who stares at a box of orange juice in the morning. And then he says, the box says concentrate. Who's the dummy now? So, you see where this is going? Here's the other problem. Executive producers Steph Curry, Norman Lear, and Seth MacFarlane from Family Guy. I want to assume that Steph Curry didn't know anything about the project and lent them his name for executive producer for a fee. But I don't know if I, want, if I can believe that. Come on, Steph, you got to do better, bro. I like Family Guy, but come on, man. This is, this, is, this is too much. This is over the top. This is just straight offensive. This show is everything that Norman Lear wanted the old show to be, but couldn't because of the actors. That's why they, I think they went the animated route. The use of stereotypes in this short trailer is amazing. The only thing missing truly is chicken and watermelon. I mean, the father's hustling people in pool. Kid goes to Twister High School. The mom goes up to the school to see the teacher and the teacher is talking about how he's going through the 10th grade for the third time. And look at this teacher. She's drinking alcohol out of a flask with her Jesus piece, Newport's in her pocket, a little soul patch of hair on her face. Does she look, this is crazy. 
The mother asked the teacher, is there anything she can suggest to help him get through the drive through I don't know what that means. It's got to be something about money because this is what the teacher's response is. Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you working with. So the mother starts to pray to black Jesus. And guess what? Jesus is busy playing video games. And God, who gives Jesus the phone to speak to this lady, has his fingernails painted. And they're painted the same color as the transgender flag. But hold on, it gets worse. The youngest kid, an unsupervised baby, is a blonde-haired, diamond earring-wearing, gold pacifier-sucking drug dealer. The baby's a drug dealer. Now look at this neighborhood, look at this corner, the med center. There's a song playing while this scene is going on and the lyrics are saying something about in a nocturnal state of mind. And yes, that does say Dr. Sosa and that is a crack pipe. Like they really went over the top and there's the daughters walking through some type of neighborhood. This looks crazy. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. That's what whoever this person is says to the father. So the mother starts talking about how it's a system and how they place drugs and guns in the neighborhood. But I'm more focused on these two gangs. The Burgundy Brigade and the Mauv Squad. Seems to be a theme with these feminine colors. Anyway, they get the free guns and start having a shootout. Everything, everything back. The little activist girl says the revolution will not be televised. And the father dismisses it saying, come on Rosa Parks, can we just enjoy this? And who's that Elon Musk looking dude in the back? And look how they drew the father. Let's keep it a hundred. He looks like a gorilla. These are the voice actors, J.B. Smoothie, Vet Nicole Brown, Jay Farrell, Slink Johnson, Marseille Martin, Wanda Sykes. Some of those names should not surprise you. There's a few other things like the daughter dancing in the strip club, the baby with the stroller with the gold rims, the overweight, over-the-top, fat black woman. Look at this one over here on the right. Standing there with a chest out, breastfeeding the baby. Like, come on, man. Now, this is the showrunner. Renata Shepard, for all of you who don't know what a showrunner is, that's the person with total creative authority for this show. This is the Cuban woman that is responsible for this show. I point this out because this is just someone that doesn't understand the culture. And I leave that at that. Look at where he is. What could possibly be going on here? Babies beefing, they get into a shootout. Listen, if this was done to any other group of people, it would be all over the place, people be in uproar. I mean, Kyrie Irving said he watched something that he bought from Amazon and he had to go on an apology tour, pay fines. Come on, man. Don't try to justify this. Y'all know this is wrong. I'm taking, I mean, yeah. these things that I'm saying, I'm sorry.